This episode of English at Work podcast is brought to you by British Council Thailand. Let's get to it. This is the Standard Podcast, the eye-opening experience for your ears. สวัสดีครับผมบิ๊กครับสวัสดีค่ะบีค่ะและนี่คือพอดแคสต์ที่จะช่วยคุณใช้ภาษาอังกฤษในการทำงานได้อย่างมั่นใจและได้ผล You'll be more confident and more proficient using English language as a tool to be successful in your career. This is English at Work podcast from the Standard. And before we start, please make sure to hit subscribe at our channel on YouTube. ชื่อช่องคือ The Standard Podcast นะครับโลโก้สีม่วงๆหาง่ายๆนะครับ And please also ring that notification bell. ใช่แล้วค่ะนอกจากจะกดซับอยากให้กดกระดิ่งไว้ด้วยจะได้ไม่พลาดทุกเอพิโซดของเรา And if you find our podcast fun and useful, please like and share our content. Thank you. B ครับวันนี้เรามีแขกพิเศษ It's not just the two of us now. It's not, and I heard that it's somebody that the listeners are waiting for, oh, dying yeah. to listen to again. Oh Hubie. yeah, because he's been on comedy podcast like four times, yes. four episodes already, and he has a very nice accent. Yeah, the um, British accent. British. <laughs> I'm not oh. sure he's gonna appreciate that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go I'm talk. Sorry. Let's go say hi to him. Crew kids, สวัสดีครับ Hi. Hi there, guys. How are you doing? Yeah, really well. Yourselves? It's been too long. I guess from the last time that you was on my show. Yeah, it's been a while actually. Yeah. So thank you so much for dropping by, and I'm sure that he could help us a lot because we were gonna have like role plays, and uh, we want someone who. Has a, a lot of experience, um, especially for the matter that we are going to be talking about. When the customer gets angry, mm. have you encountered that? Um, it might be a shame to say that I think I have been an angry customer really? myself. Oh my god! But doesn't that happen sometimes? You do get angry, but I—I I mean, I don't go overboard. Like I don't like scream and point and shout. Why not? Because is I'm your nice. right as a customer <laughs> who's angry and who. Has the money, and you can like be nasty. <laughs> no, I I feel like being being angry and just like screaming and shouting and overly emotional doesn't mm. really solve problems. Mm. So I think when I'm an angry customer, I just kind of like become very robotic. Like I become <sighs> very firm and just like repeat what mm. I say over and over in this mm. type of tone. Mm-hmm. I don't like go like ah, why don't you do that? Uh-huh. You suck. You're stupid. Uh-huh. Like, I don't really do that. And about you, cricket? Have you ever been an angry customer <laughs> before? No, no. Didn't you? Don't you know? British people don't get angry. Oh, they, they get, get sarcastic. Aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Yes. Ah, okay. So I actually I would like to like um, do the the British version of the angry customer maybe next time. Yeah, yeah. that would but, be but so fun. But this one we will be screaming. So like the American version. <laughs> I'm <laughs> very <laughs> sorry, but Americans are very um, passionate. <laughs> Emotional, you know. Emotional. So, mm. uh-huh. so the British, <laughs> just in a different way, <laughs> very different. <Yeah>. Clenched fist. <laughs> วันนี้เราจะมาดูนะครับว่าถ้าลูกค้าโกรธโมโหไม่พอใจโวยวายเราจะรับมืออย่างไรเพราะมันเป็นเรื่องที่ยากมากแล้วก็ขอบอกไปก่อนเลย disclaimer ไม่ใช่สิ่งที่จะคุณจะเอาสิ่งนี้ไปพูดแล้ว it would magically make things like better or it would solve things magically. So that's not that set in stone, right? ไม่ใช่สิ่งที่จะเป็นแบบ magic word ไม่ใช่เวทมนต์นะแต่อาจจะเป็นหนึ่งในวิธีที่อาจจะเอาไปใช้ได้แล้วเดี๋ยวเราจะถกกันต่อไปด้วยครับว่าในแต่ละซีนารีโอนั้นมันยังมีทางเลือกอื่นไหมมีออปชันอื่นไหมแล้วทำไมเราถึงใช้ประโยคหรือว่าคำอย่างที่เราใช้ไปในแต่ละ role play นะครับเริ่มต้นที่แบบ the office อย่างที่เขาพูดกันไม่รู้ว่าจะเห็นด้วยกันหรือเปล่าทั้งสองคนนะครับ The customer is always right, so what we should say to an angry customer is, "You're right." Mm. What do you think about this? Um, I guess most of the time, yes, you could say that. Mm-hmm. And would that fix anything? Like, would that stop the the customer from like yelling? You think? I think it would with some, for sure. Yes, I mean you're acknowledging that. They have a point, so mm-hmm. 
Um, I mean, that's what they want to hear, right? When someone's angry, you obviously don't want to disagree with them. So saying mm-hmm. you're right can help. Mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it also is kind of like kind of a knee jerk response, right? Like an immediate reaction sometimes when you have people like yelling at you or being angry to say, "I'm sorry, you're right." Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of knee jerk reaction mm-hmm. to like just mm-hmm. say that, and I think it does play its role in like. Um, De-escalating in a sense that the customer knows that you're listening at mm. least. Mm. You know, like you, sometimes you just want to hear people say, "I'm sorry, mm. you're right." Mm. Yeah. Because if it's a mistake, he says, "I'm sorry, you're right." Now, we're still going to keep yelling. Immediately, you're a bad guy, and I don't think <laughs> they want to be a bad guy. Nobody wants to be a bad guy, especially in this situation. So mm. they would want to hear what you would have to offer. Next, right? Like what yeah. you're about to say next. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how about this one? I hear you. Ah, uh, so instead of saying I understand, uh-huh. is it p i v i k I hear you. คือแบบฉันได้ยินอยู่นะถ้าแปลไทยมันจะประหลาดประหลาดเนาะผมผมฟังอยู่ครับไม่ใช่นะผมเข้าใจ Actually, it's um, an equivalent to I understand. Yeah, right, in but English. just said in different words. Mm. That's it. What do you think about this one, Krukit? Yeah, I think when we we say I understand, it's a um, it's a bit of a cliche. So what I mean is, we, it tends to be maybe the natural response that you hear very often. So sometimes when you change just by changing the word, so for for example here using I hear you um, can have a different effect, mm. and it can certainly again help with right. the situation. I think. I also uh, read from some article that. Well, the author of the article said that saying "I understand" could be a bit hollow. And what does it mean when I say it's hollow? Um, like, I guess like you don't really understand. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's kind of empty. You don't really mean that mm-hmm. when you say "I understand." มันเหมือนเป็นคำติดปากนะเออเข้าใจเข้าใจเข้าใจครับเข้าใจครับอย่างเงี้ยแต่เหมือนไม่เข้าใจจริงจริงไม่ได้รับฟังด้วยซ้ำเลยปัดปัดออกไป Do you really understand? Of course you sometimes don't. Most of the time you don't understand. But when you switch it to "I hear you," it implies listening. Hmm. That's it, interesting. Maybe it doesn't matter if you really understand, but it does matter if you are listening. Mm-hmm. So that's what the customer, especially an angry one, wants to hear the most. Mm. Yeah. And how about this one? You have the right to be angry. Is that good? Mm. It's like acknowledging or almost like giving permission or um, validating um, their emotion. Yeah, I like I like that word. I like validating your emotion. I think when people say, "Yeah, I understand you feel this way. You have every right to feel this way." You feel like okay, they're listening. Um, they understand my feelings. Mm-hmm. I think it's a good validation for mm-hmm. to make you feel a little bit mm-hmm. better. Yeah. It's like um, we accept. Uh, okay, please keep yelling <laughs> <laughs> because you have the right um, to yell. And if it were me, I I would be yelling too. It's almost. That right? Yeah, it almost implied that. Mm. Mm. Sure, I think it, it's obviously better than I understand. You know, you're you're taking it a step further, and and you're kind of um, I'm going to use the word siding with the customer. Ah. So you're mm. almost, um, in a way, comforting them by saying, you know, you should be angry, basically, mm. and not that I understand you, and, but <laughs> yeah, I really understand you. You know that you are angry. ชอบเขาว่า siding with the customer yeah. we are on the same side yes. mm. เราไม่ได้อยู่ฝั่งตรงข้ามแล้วก็พยายามจะปกป้ององค์กรของเราหรือว่าพนักงานของเราแบบรับผูรับตาแต่ว่าเราโฟกัสไปที่เขาเขาเกิดปัญหาอะไรขึ้นเราอยากช่วยเขา mm. เราอยู่ฝั่งเดียวกับเขานะ mm. เออมันก็อาจจะรู้สึกดีขึ้นทําทําให้แบบอาจจะหยุดตะโกนหยุดด่าเราแล้วนิดหนึ่งแป๊บหนึ่งอะไรอย่างเงี้ยนะครับ I think you also brought up another point when we were discussing um, that you have the right to be angry actually flips the conversation around so that it's focused on you mm. right Kuki do you want to explain this point Yes I, I think when we say um, because we're using the word you yeah. they you automatically and because what follows you is something um, that is Positive, rather than you know, you're not saying you are wrong. So because you've used the word you here rather than I, the customer or the person complaining feels, oh, okay, me, mm-hmm. rather than oh, the other side is just trying to give yeah. excuses for for something. Yeah. Yeah. 
นะครับนั่นก็อาจจะเป็นคําที่ใช้ได้ในสถานการณ์ทั่วๆไปแต่ทีนี้ก็จะมีอีกจํานวนหนึ่งนะครับที่เราที่เราไปขุดคุยมาเราก็รู้สึกว่าเออประโยคเหล่านี้ก็เข้าท่านะแต่เดี๋ยวเอามาลองเล่นในโรเพลย์ฟังว่าเมื่อถึงสถานการณ์จริงๆแล้วเนี่ยเขาเขาใช้ประโยคเหล่านี้กันอย่างไรนะครับ so what would be the situation for scenario number one Ah, imagine you're at a mobile service center, mm. and a customer brings in their phone to fix. Okay. And when they talk to the other staff, you mm-hmm. know, the other staff were telling them that, oh, we we can't really fix this for you. There's mm-hmm. nothing we can do. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if other people have been through this situation before, but I'm sure there's something similar. So uh, let's see, mm-hmm. let's see what happens. ครับแล้วคุณลูกค้าก็โวยขึ้นมานะครับว่าเอาคนที่รู้เรื่องมาพูดสิประมาณนั้นขอคุยกับผู้จัดการเอออย่างเงี้ยเคยได้ยินแน่ๆอาจจะเคยพูดเองในซ้ำไปนะครับมาดูว่าเกิดอะไรขึ้นครับ Who's in charge here Yes sir My name is Amy I'm the manager Is there anything Do you know how frustrating it is to come all the way here and have someone say to your face There's nothing we can do Is this how you run your business Oh I'm very sorry That must have been very frustrating. If I were in your shoes, I'd feel the same way. Let's let's talk some more. Let me make sure the front is taken care of, so we have time to sort this out for you properly. Please have a seat, sir. Oh, เรียกว่าแก้สถานการณ์ได้โอเคทีเดียวลองไปถาม angry customer. How do you feel about her like handling this situation? Are you less angry right now? Not sure. <laughs> Oh come on, sir. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So she she did comfort me. She did use some she some use some interesting phrases there. Right. Mm-hmm. And she she related to me. If I were you, um, or if I were in your shoes, I'd feel the same way. So I think by mm-hmm. using the you again there, yes, mm-hmm. th- I think that helped. Yeah. ประโยคนี้ก็คือถ้าเราอยู่ในรองเท้าของใครก็คืออยู่ในสถานการณ์เดียวกันโดนปฏิบัติเหมือนกันเจอปัญหาเดียวกันนะครับนั่นคือ in someone's shoes I would feel the same way ก็คือคงจะรู้สึกอย่างเดียวกันนี่แหละเพราะฉะนั้นมันเหมือนกับเป็นการเข้าใจว่าทําไมอารมณ์ถึงมาแรงขนาดนี้เออเป็นการเหมือนกับที่ครูคิดพูดก่อนหน้านี้คือแบบ siding with the customer คือโอเคโอเคเราพูดเดียวกันเข้าใจนะครับแล้วก็บีก็ยังดูเชื้อเชิญนะครับชอบตรงที่บอกว่า let's talk some more เพราะหลายๆครั้งส่วนตัวนะครับจะรู้สึกว่าคนที่จะควรจะต้องแก้ปัญหาให้เราอ่ะไม่มีเวลาให้เรารู้สึกเขารีบเขาจะไม่ให้เวลาให้ให้ความสําคัญกับเราแต่ในที่นี้คุณเอมี่คือเดี๋ยวไปจัดการบอกให้ทั้งหน้าแบบทางฟรอนต์จัดการก่อนนะจะได้มีเวลามานั่งคุยกันแบบยาวๆเต็มๆถ้าเกิดรู้สึกว่าอย่างน้อยเขาให้เวลาเขาจะนั่งคุยกับเราเราจะรู้สึกโกรธน้อยลงแล้วอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืม Before, <laughs> I think my my tactic when I'm dealing with an angry customer, right? Um, I think I like to use validators a lot. Like I like to show that I like to empathize first because it shows that I'm listening. I guess mm. I like to say like, um, I really understand. I understand why you feel so angry. Mm. I would feel that way too if that happened to me. Mm. And I think. When people respond to that, they'll feel kind of like, oh, okay, at least I'm not going to be angry with her. She sounds nice, like you know, uh-huh. like she's probably going to help me fix the problem because she understands what got me upset in the first place. Uh-huh. So I think validating the people, the angry customers' feelings, is a really good strategy mm. for letting them to calm down a bit and show them that you're on their side mm-hmm. and that you're here to help. And let's talk some more. Mm. Yeah, I also like the like kind of small, but I like the please have a seat. <laughs> I think sitting down like deescalates the problem in mm-hmm. just the action as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know psychologically it does that. I yeah. guess like sit down more it'll comfortable. Be a, it'll be a little bit harder for them to yell like sitting down. Yeah. I think because <laughs> when they like standing up, they can like project their voice like even like more and louder. Yeah. Yeah. I so just so. sit down. So yeah, calm like, everything okay. down. Yeah, I think you're changing the dynamics as well. So you're yes. just you're just breaking that up because you know they've probably been ranting at you for the last mm-hmm. whatever, and then you're just saying, okay, let's mm. have a 
time out here and yeah. Yeah. Can just exactly. take a seat. Please have a seat. Can I get you a yeah. glass of water? Yeah. <laughs> ah. You almost caught them off guard yeah, as well like, because well. They, they don't. Ex- I think a lot of people don't expect that. Mm-hmm. So, and um, if you confront them or with you know um, maybe a, a response they they, they don't want to hear, mm-hmm. then. Um, that can escalate the situation again, but by doing this, you're just kind of breaking it up. Yeah. 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 Add the let's talk some more. I think this is also very powerful because apart from asking them to sit down, now you're saying, okay, you're. Can you tell me more? So they've got to rethink about what everything that happened. So they've got to change their focus from screaming at you yes. to going to like, oh, okay, now I've got to tell you what happened. So right. yes, it's yeah. a very powerful psychological tool. I Ding. think yes. Jack yeah. Mort. ตะโกนสู่โหมดสตอรี่เทลลิงตอนนี้ต้องต้องเล่าเรื่องแล้วเล่าเป็นช็อตแล้วหนึ่งสองสามเกิดอะไรขึ้น so you're controlling them now you're actually in control of the situation sit down well I don't know I don't know if that would have the same effect okay okay sorry sorry that's kind of creepy sit down sit down drink this just a glass of water but you say it wrong it could sound like a poison okay all right let's go to scenario number two so what what's happening right now crew kid is at the um restaurant right um is it not not we're not someone's not calling the um yeah it's calling oh yeah yeah. i think someone's calling the the head office or headquarters of uh A restaurant chain, let's say, calling to complain about the bad quality of service they received mm. at one of their restaurants. Right. Hello, can I help you? I ate at one of your restaurants last night and was very disappointed. The servers there were very rude. They got our orders wrong, and the worst part is there was a piece of glass in one of our dishes. That is so dangerous. We will be suing you. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened. You're so right to call us to let us know of this problem. We take this issue very seriously. Your staff did not do anything. In fact, they denied that it came from the kitchen. This is very serious. Uh, would you mind if I write this down? I just want to make sure I get this right, so this does not happen again in any of our franchises. Okay. Uh, please continue. Can you tell me which franchise you visited last night? <sighs> You're pretty good at yelling yourself. Oh, thank you. Look I have a lot you. of pent up anger. <laughs> It's been a long day. <laughs> That's quite hard going from being angry to coming to like I have to calm down. Like, yeah, okay, that was that felt yeah. weird. It's quite hard yeah. to stay angry at you. You sound so calm right, and like right. so cautious. Is that right. a cor- cautious? Cautious. <laughs> cautious. Oh. Yeah. Ting ting na. ถ้าสมมติเกิดเราเหมือนกับคราวที่แล้วถ้าเกิดเรายังตะโกนกับคนที่เขาไม่ยอมตะโกนกับเราอ่ะสักพักนึงเราจะรู้สึกว่ากูทำอะไรอยู่วะหรือว่าจะรู้สึกเหมือนเป็นคนบ้าอยู่คนเดียวนะครับตอบใดก็ตามที่เขาเรับฟังเราแล้วก็แสดงความตั้งใจว่าจะแก้ไขปัญหาให้เนาะในกรณีนี้สิ่งที่รู้สึกว่าน่าสนใจคือ would you mind if I write this down and why did you say that cricket uh, well, I think here it's also helping um, to tell the customer in this in this uh, situation that You know, you want to you want to make it clear that okay, I'm listening to everything you want to say and what happened, and then obviously it's it's for for the from the company's point of view, it's a record, so you can actually, you know, take this um, take this information and then um, pass it on to the right people or department so that the problem can be resolved. Um, you don't obviously want to. Take the wrong information as well, because then the customer might get even more angry. Yeah. แล้วเวลาบีได้ยินครูคิดบอกว่า Let me write this down. Would you mind if I write this down? What did you 
How did you feel? Um, it's reassuring. It feels like he's. Takes this matter as seriously as I want him to. Like I think, knowing that the other side, they're making like a physical record of what I'm saying, not just like the whole this conversation will be recorded. Exactly. Like that, that doesn't mm-hmm. feel like it's mm-hmm. gonna be listened to any time in the future. Right. But if the person on, on the other side of the phone goes like, "Let me write this down. Let me make an official report," mm-hmm. I think it makes you feel like okay. Mm-hmm. It will get up to the bosses, right? Or my information, I won't have to call again because uh-huh. it will be recorded down. Yeah, you, you know? can sense some sort of like enthusiasm, mm-hmm. like, like you can actually help. see like people, um, a person on the phone, like trying to mm-hmm. like get a piece of paper and a pen and then actually write things down as you say. Mm-hmm. So that's reassuring, like you said. ฟังแล้วรู้สึกแบบโอเคการโทรมาครั้งนี้น่าจะไม่สูญเปล่าเพราะว่ามีการบันทึกอะไรบางอย่างไว้แล้วดูเหมือนเขาจะทําให้เรื่องนี้มันกลายเป็นเรื่องคล้ายๆกับแบบ official report or some sort yeah so you feel a little like better yeah that they're hearing me and they take the situation as seriously as I do mm-hmm. I think another sentence I really like and want to point out is um, when Crew Kid said you are so right to call us to let us know of this problem mm-hmm. like um, แบบดีแล้วที่คุณแบบโทรมามาแจ้งขอบคุณมากเลยนะคะที่โทรมามาแจ้งเราถึงปัญหานี้ then it makes you feel like yeah okay I didn't go overboard I wasn't acting like too emotional like I did the right thing here I think it's always nice to know that I did the right thing yeah so I think that's also another very good like validator yeah I think we're we're seeing a pattern here again because we're using the word you again. Oh, so yes. therefore, we're you know we're giving almost like giving the customer um, or some person complaining some more respect so that you know they they feel we're we're on their side again. And also, I you know what happened in the last situation um, when I when when you use for example the phrase "Would you mind if I write this down?" You're you're now again the customer has got to stop. Venting, and they've got uh-huh. to now start telling you what happened again. Right. So another know, you're psychological. Diffused, you're neutralizing tactic. the kind of situ- you know the situation. Yeah. Like you change the dynamic of the conversation yeah. because Once now again, it's like, you... let me ask you questions and you respond, right? Because mm. in the next phase is like, okay, uh, please continue, and then you ask a question like, can you tell me where you were last night? And then now it's like, okay, I gotta tell you. Like right. following your frame of logic uh-huh. or the way you want uh-huh. to carry the conversation, yeah. yeah. And they've got to, they've got to, they've actually got to tell you because that's what they want to complain about. Right. So they can't. They're like, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done here. No, yeah, but now <laughs> you want to complain, so let's go. I'm making yeah. an official report. Mm-hmm. Um, but you change the dynamic. Now it's like not you just complaining, complaining, complaining. Yeah. But now you got to do it like little by little as yeah. I respond to my uh-huh. questions. Sure. Yeah, and so it's I like this so. is official now. So maybe you have to tell your name, your contact <laughs> information, because if if we want to just vent, if we want to be nasty to people, we can just call and say bad words and then hang up, right? But you cannot do that anymore because you <laughs> want to make this a, an official re, a report, right? So. Tell me your name, sir. Tell me <laughs> well, our, like the first your thing contact. you should ask, like, please yeah. continue. First, can I get your name? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that yeah. would stop them from like, like going crazy. Oh, yeah. Oops. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's uh-huh. a good point. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Just this simple sentence. Would you mind if I write this this down? Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's go to another scenario. So, um, again, it's on the phone. Yeah. The con- this conversation is over the phone, and the customer is overcharged, and they call customer service to complain. Good evening. Thank you for calling. This is Mark speaking. How can I help you today? Yeah, I was charged for something I definitely didn't buy. This has happened three times already. What is wrong with you people? Or is it your stupid computer? Is it just? Stupid! I apologize. We have made a mistake, and I'll personally do everything in my power to make things right. Okay, here's what I can do right now. I'll reset your account to make sure there's no further charge. I'm looking at the history right now, and I can see that is 2,500 baht overcharge. Right. So I'm gonna put the money back into your account in the next five minutes. You'll be notified on the phone. 
How do I know this won't happen again? I am very sorry, sir, for all the inconvenience. I'll make a report to the IT team for them to fully investigate what happened in this case. Can I call you back in the next couple of days when we find out exactly what happened? Fine. <laughs> I love listening to k o o k i d being angry. <laughs> okay, when when you say fine, just just now, can you feel that your your mood has changed from the beginning? Yeah, you kind of you've accepted that you know that there's not more that they somebody's acknowledged your concern and doesn't really let you get angry anymore or something. So yeah, I guess yeah, you you've just kind of. Accepted defeat, or maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you fix the problem immediately, yeah. though, right? Like he called to complain about the overcharge, and then immediately you were like, "Okay, um, I'll put the money put back. The money back right yeah. now." Mm-hmm. So I, I mean, he shouldn't stay angry because it's done. Like it's fixed. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I think you also went above and beyond to say like. Okay, I'm gonna make a full report, like a full investigation, to figure out what happened. Mm-hmm. So then, I think after it's kind of like, yeah, okay, nothing more to be done. <laughs> yeah, I made my point. You accept it. You fix right. the problem, and you'll do something more for me. So although I can tell that he is having fun yelling <laughs> somehow, but I wouldn't give him like anything else to yell at. I guess I think so. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think you gave a, a very. Comprehensive kind of answer, so you basically closed all angles, yes. and you know I couldn't no say anything yelling. else. So I had to like take my tone down. So fine, <laughs> I accept. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, so fine. Yeah, fine. <laughs> like the sentence that you use, like p e p i c to deescalate, was like, hmm. "I will personally do everything in my power to make things right." Mm-hmm. Right. So. I'm, I'll fix it for you. You mm-hmm. know what? No like, matter what it takes. Yeah, like I accept your response. It's much more than just saying um, you have every right to be angry. Yeah. Right. This goes a little bit one step beyond. Kind right. of like yeah. not only do you have a right, but mm. I'm gonna fix it for you. Mm-hmm. Everything in my power. And then even the next one is here's what I can do right now. I really like that. Yeah. Because it like. It shows action. Yes, action. right away. I mean, that's that's, uh-huh. that's the key that's the word. Key. Yeah. Right. The first one is um, sympathizing or empathizing mm. with um, with the with the customer, and mm. then what they really want to hear is that you are going to do something for them. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what you did. Mm-hmm. So. แล้วก็ยังบอกด้วยว่าตอนนี้กำลังดู I'm taking a look at the history right now, and it's 2,500 overcharge, right? You're just like confirming with the customer, so it's not like you're like playing with your phone and then just keep talking according to the script. You're actually doing your work right now. You take a look, you're taking a look at the history mm. of this customer. So that kind of shows like efficiency a little bit mm. from from my point of view. It's like oh, he's doing his work, mm. and uh, I even say that I'm gonna put the money right back into your account, and you'll be notified. Mm. On the phone in the next five minutes, mm. so I cannot be more like precise than that. Mm. อย่างที่ครูคิดบอกปิดทุกประตูในการในการแบบด่าต่อไปไม่รู้จะด่าเรื่องอะไรแล้วเลยเพราะว่ามันซ่อมให้กูหมดทุกปัญหาเลยประมาณนั้นเหมือนเมื่อกี้พยายามจะด่าเพิ่มนะแบบ how do I know this won't happen again อะไรอย่างงี้เนาะจะด่าเพิ่มแต่แบบ you know what I'm gonna make a full report I'm gonna investigate this and I'll follow up with you next week ถึงบอกว่าเออเหมือนลูกค้าคนนี้ยังอยากจะด่าต่อแต่ก็ตามไปปิดทุกประตูอีกแล้วนะครับก็เลยลงท้ายก็คือต้อง Fine. Okay. แล้วก็ยอมจากไปอย่างแอบพ่ายแพ้นิดหน่อย <laughs> Did you feel that you, I, I, I left you no choice but to accept? Of course, of course, that's the idea. And I think again, um, when you said, so you said you were looking at the screen. If if you notice, or a, a very common tactic that call center staff use when you complain or tell them about the problem is they say, okay, just. Let me go and check the screen first, and I'll come back to you. So again, they're they're kind of breaking up the situation. They, they've disappeared for like, even though it's only for a short time. <laughs> yeah. But they left you like, okay, you can shout, but you're just gonna shout at no one, mm. you know. So yeah, I think that's true. Uh, yeah. That's true. Yeah, sure. yeah. Another time that we break the their like momentum. Yes. Yeah. True. <laughs> Interrupt there. Uh-huh. And also, um, I I I kind of like that. I said right out from like. From the beginning, that I apologize. 
we have made a mistake. Um, because sometimes you you kind of hear about how um, the organization or the big company, especially big ones, uh, would like teach their employees, especially ones who have to handle the the clients. Don't say we're sorry or don't admit that we're wrong. เพราะมันอาจจะไปส่งผลในอนาคตสมมติลูกค้าเกิดแบบสู่จริงๆเกิดฟ้องขึ้นมาจริงๆแล้วเขาบอกว่าอ้าวก็พนักงานเขายอมรับแล้วเป็นความผิดตั้งแต่แรกอืมแต่เรามีความรู้สึกว่าถ้าเห็นอยู่แล้วว่ามันผิดเนี่ยก็ยอมรับไปเลยมันดูมันดูใจใจกว่า I don't know what you guys think so what do you guys think about like saying that we're wrong and we admit that we've made mistakes I mean I think it's Um, the effect that it has on the counterparty is that it makes you feel like much better, right? Um, and I guess it de-escalates you so that you don't want to, like, you don't even find it ne- necessary to like pursue the case further if you feel like the problem has been fixed in that call, right? Mm-hmm. So I actually I haven't, I've never, I never knew that that there were co- companies that teaches. Their customer service to not admit their mistakes because maybe they're afraid of l o s s e s Thailand, maybe not Thai um, okay. companies, but American especially because mm. they're like suing like each other protect, all the time. Like the suing culture, right? Suing and they culture. need to protect themselves. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, I I almost feel like that could have a backlash. Even oh, like yeah. if I feel that it's dragging out longer, like customer service can't do anything. You clearly made a mistake. You won't accept that you made the mistake. It's just two thousand five hundred baht. Like just. Admit that you made that mistake, right? Uh-huh. And fix it. And fix it. Like I feel like it could backlash in that I would get even more and more and more and more angry to the point that I will invest the time mm-hmm. and the money to sue you, mm-hmm. like you uh-huh. know, which yeah, could have been yeah. fixed. That just like uh-huh. okay, I'll, I'll do it now. Like, you know. Okay. So oh, so how do you feel about suing? Is that happen a lot in the British like culture or? I don't know. I mean, I mean, we're generalizing a little bit yeah. here, and I, I, I know we like to associate uh, a suing culture with America mm-hmm. um, or American culture. Um, I, I don't know. I think maybe the British people tend to have a reputation for being a little bit more calm. I guess mm-hmm. um, so. Maybe yes. I think they might not hear that as. Maybe as often, mm-hmm. or as it might not be mm-hmm. as common. Mm-hmm. But then again, I think we're generalizing. So yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But to me, I think uh, dealing with a customer is like dealing with another human being. Yeah. So um, if we like acknowledge and um, validate yeah. their emotions, and we we. We tell them that we understand. We know where they're coming from. We understand that we empathize with them. I think it 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 will help fix the problem. Like just like that, like at a snap of a finger, it could be a lot easier to just just say you're wrong. Just mm-hmm. say we've made mistakes. Yeah. 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 But I think what. Actually, what's interesting, like just an extension to this um, episode, is that. Uh, I think we also see a lot more examples of people kind of complaining or taking this to like social media before they uh, even deal with it. You know how you said it's like a human-human yeah. um, situation, but then what happens in today's time when it's like no longer like human-human because mm-hmm. you immediately take it to social media and then complain, All right. right, right away before mm-hmm. e- customer service like has the ability to fix the problem for you That's at the right. get-go. So, I think. It's it's interesting to see how dealing with angry customers has to also evolve with mm-hmm. the way customers now file complaints. Mm-hmm. You know, you see it a lot more online, where um, like some of the most reputable like brands, uh, they're reputable for their ability to immediately, like quickly, deal with the problem. Yes. Like yeah, mm-hmm. on social media. หลายหลายครั้งเราจะได้ยินว่าถ้าสมมติเกิดโทรไป customer service หรือว่าไป complain โดยตรงกับแบรนด์ในอดีตนะปัญหาไม่แก้หรอกแต่พอมาโพสในพันทิปปั๊บแบรนด์ที่ต่อมาเลยจ้าแต่นั่นมันคืออดีตเนาะเรารู้สึกว่าหลายๆแบรนด์หลายๆองค์องค์กรปรับตัวแล้วรู้แล้วว่าถ้าคุณไม่รีบดีลกับลูกค้าไม่รีบช่วยเขาให้เร็วที่สุดนั่นคือสิ่งที่จะเกิดขึ้นคุณก็จะไปเสียชื่อบนโซเชียลมีเดียหรือว่าบนอินเทอร์เน็ตชาวเน็ตก็จะทัวลงคุณแน่นอนประมาณนี้ครับ
พราะฉะนั้นวันนี้เราได้หลายทั้งข้อคิดทั้งข้อความไว้เพื่อเอาไว้ใช้นะครับแต่ก็อีกนั่นแหละอย่างที่จะเห็นได้ว่าไม่มีอะไรที่มันแบบการันตีว่านี่จะได้ผลร้อยเปอร์เซ็นเพราะว่าคนเราต่างกันเราไม่รู้ว่าจะเจอลูกค้าประเภทไหนเป็นอาจจะเป็นลูกค้าเราสถานการณ์อย่างที่เห็นว่าเราพยายามจะแก้ปัญหาทุกอย่างจนครูคิดลูกค้าครูคิดนั้นไม่สามารถด่าต่อได้แล้วแต่อาจจะมีลูกค้าที่เก่งกว่าครูคิดในเรื่องการหาเรื่องด่าไปเรื่อยๆก็เป็นไปได้ถูกไหมครับเพราะฉะนั้นมันอยู่ที่วิธีการรับมือเนาะแล้วก็วิธีการคิดด้วยว่าทํายังไงที่จะช่วยแก้ปัญหาให้กับลูกค้าแต่ที่สุดแล้วนะเราเราแอบคิดว่าเราเคยเห็นประโยคนี้เขาบอกว่า if none of these work คือถ้าสมมติเกิดทุกอย่างที่เราแนะนำคุณมาไม่เวิร์กเลย just remember to speak softly and think happy thoughts All bad weather comes to an end. Maybe that's the best you can do. It's like um, you can't undo everything that ha- that's happening, and you can't change their behavior because that's who they are. เขาอาจจะไม่ไม่สนใจก็ได้นะว่าเราช่วยเขาอยู่หรือเปล่าแต่เขาอยากด่าเขาก็จะด่าแล้วก็โกรธเราต่อไปเขาก็เลยบอกว่า just think happy thoughts and everything. And this too shall pass. This too shall Basically, pass. Basically, that's what they're saying. Yeah, I think also, let's not get angry with the customer. I think that's the worst that can happen. Um, I guess I've I've been like in customer service before, like have been a server, like a waitress, I guess, in a restaurant when I was like busking in in school. Um, so. The worst thing you can do is to get angry with them or at them, right? So sometimes the best de-escalation is simply to just like step away and just have someone else come <sighs> in, like tag team, take your place, so that it doesn't mm. go further. Mm. And I think another, like I guess, another side is like if you are the cu- angry customer yourself, let's also not forget that the customer service you're dealing with are humans too, mm. and they can make mistakes too. Let's just keep it like. Friendly human <laughs> and mm. fix the problem together. Really, yeah. Look, it cut. Any last thoughts? Yeah, I just was g o i n g to add that. You know, sometimes people just want to vent. Yeah. You know, they just want to be heard. So sometimes it just takes a bit of patience, being calm. Let them say what they want, and once they finished, then you can continue. อย่างที่เราเคยออกตัวไปนะครับคุณผู้ฟังครับผมกับบีเราไม่ใช่อาจารย์ภาษานะครับแต่ถ้าเกิดคุณผู้ฟังคนไหนอยากเรียนอย่างจริงจังกับอาจารย์เจ้าของภาษาจริงๆเราก็มีตัวเลือกให้จากผู้สนับสนุนของเราในเอพิโซดนี้ซึ่งก็คือ British Council Thailand นั่นเองครับ So if you wanna get better at English and you know exactly what you want so You're not gonna waste your time going through other lessons that you know you're not gonna use in real life, right? Like what we're doing here on English at Work podcast. For example, you want to get good at English just for work, right? So if you have a very specific goal, this class from British Council can help you so much. It's called My Class Boost, and it's just the way it sounds. My class is designed. Just for you. That means you can pick and choose your own lessons, but of course, with the help from the experienced professional native teachers, is interactive, is super flexible. You'll have a real conversation with the natives who know exactly how to help you improve in the way that would suit your needs. Plus, you can use the app specially designed to help you with the lessons too. So if you're interested and feel like this is the class for you, just follow the link that we put in the description below for more information. And that's my class boost from British Council Thailand. And that concludes our show for today. We hope it can help you with the problems you might have. And thank you so much for joining us. ไม่ว่าจะติดตามฟังกันทางไหนก็ตาม Spotify, Apple Podcast หรือ Podcast Player ที่คุณชอบขอบคุณมากมากนะคะ And also, if you're listening on the Standard Podcast YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notification. Yes, so you never miss our content. และถ้าเกิดใครมีปัญหาอะไรก็ตามที่เกี่ยวกับการใช้ภาษาอังกฤษในการทํางานไม่ว่าจะเป็นการงานอาชีพอะไรก็ได้ถาม
มาได้เลยนะครับ just write down your questions in the comment section below หรือจะไปเขียนโพสต์ไว้ที่ Facebook Group ภาษาดีชีวิตดีโดยคำนี้ดี podcast ก็ได้เช่นกัน alright that's it for today we're out of here วันนี้ผมแล้วบีลาไปก่อนแล้วก็เจอกันใหม่ในอีพิโซดหน้านะครับ until then take care have a great day at work สวัสดีค่ะ bye bye Standard Podcast, eye-opening for your ears. <laughs>